we have a pair of inequalities here. The first one is x plus 6 is greater than 10. Subtracting 6 from both sides, we get x is greater than 4. So you might want to draw a number line to show that x is greater than 4. And the second inequality says x minus 3 is less than or equal to 5. Adding 3 to both sides, x must be less than or equal to 8. Now when we combine these inequalities together, x has to be uh, somewhere to the right of 4. We know that from the first inequality. Uh, but it can't be any further to the right of 8. So it's limited at 8. And uh, that means that x is greater than 4 but less than or equal to 8. And that's the answer. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time!